Okay. Incense is lit. That means we must be behind the scenes, the making of an Instagram post. Hey, we got long titles. Is that? Put that in there for that. Uh, boy, what am I doing? Oh, gotta return the light on. Okay. Now, oh, just finished playing the organ there. I'm gonna stop this. Oh, I wonder where that's coming from. <laughs> it's coming from here. Okay, let's take the uh, airplane mode off. That's for sure. And uh, then we put it up on our stand for when we do our Instagram. Get that stand for Instagram. Uh, I'm thirsty, man. Okay, let me put this here. This it here. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, oh this for Instagram. Let's do this real quick. Boom. Oh, yeah. So I have to, um, of course, just take off the thing there. They think that the airplane mode is off. Okay, now, we, now we're cooking. First of all, let me just drink some. Ah. Oh, I'm thirsty, man. I walk. What time is it now? 9.12. I left out at 5.30. 5.30? Yeah. That's almost four hours. Brother, don't you think you're taking this a little extreme, you know? Well, remember, we had off yesterday. So, whatever. Well, let me, oh, let me do this. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Make sure this goes up for 30 minutes instead of 30 seconds, which I can't get this thing to calibrate, right? Okay. Okay, now, since I've done that, I've got to see how many steps I done took it. Took it. 20,095 steps. 20, that, that would be 13.47 kilometers, kilometers, 13.46, let's see, 13.46, so what I would do is put 13, 13.46 kilometers, K-I-L-O. Kilometers to miles. Boom. Okay, so 13.6, so that's 8 miles, uh, 8.364 miles. That's how many, that's how much I walked this morning. My little exercise, my little stretching, whatever it is. So this is, because this is the second longest one. When I say the second longest, Saturdays is always longer than the weekdays, and then Sundays is the longest, because I take <clears throat> extra thing there. Oh, it's because I caught my throat. Uh, and now I've even, uh, since Monday is my fasting day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be even shorter on Mondays. I don't know why I just felt like I did it. It's not, not any particular reason. Just some symbiosis. Ooh, the brother used a big word. He don't even know what it means. He just threw it out there. Coconut water. Okay. Now I have something special to say. It's a special to do. I have something to do because... Well, somebody, one of my radio children, see, I have radio children, radio grandchildren, I have audio drama children, right? And um, my radio children, they've known me the longest. So I've got to address something because they sent me something and I don't want to, well, they sent me something. Well, what am I doing? Right no, it's nothing. <laughs> I thought it was something. Oh, well, let me leave this here like that. Everything's set? Okay, here we go. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Garth. Do an interesting sketch. Okay. Good time. 
on this Radio Rocky with his photos. Always good. It's the fall of the year. Oh, he's at a gravesite. I was at the grave the cemetery this morning. Coffee Beans is hanging out someplace, man. Wherever, you know. So a brand new art gallery, that's what it is. Hardest job of resurrecting a black man and woman mentally. Oh boy. But why am I doing this? See, this is how you get hooked up on, on going through your Instagram. See, like, see, I keep on doing like that. Okay. Let's uh, go live. Oh, before I go live, I better put on the accoutrement. Hey, you brother, use a word that sounds really good. Accoutrement. That's, that's about whatever it is. Hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Well, uh, this is the end of the week. Well, it's a Saturday, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what. No, I, somehow, you know, it's, it's it's Saturday, so I walked a little longer. I uh, forgot how many miles. Ten miles. I don't know whatever it was. 20,000 steps, that's all I know. Um, and, uh, but... Uh, Last night I got a little message, whatever, had one of my radio children uh, asked me, I guess he's going through something, I don't, you know, I don't know, you know, um, and so uh, uh, he asked me for, I don't know if he asked me for advice, I, I don't know, I really don't know, so I'm going to, he listens, he watches the Instagram, so let me go through this, right, um, look, here's the thing, man, uh, uh, you're formed by what you're formed by, right, that's all it is. And and as you're formed, then you have to continue to uh, grow, uh, continue to, like I say, sharpen your, your instrument. When I say instrument, I mean, you know, that, that whole thing of forging yourself in iron and folding it and becoming becoming what you're supposed to become. That's it. And anybody else that's going to be around you and say they, they, they're going to criticize you, they're going to say something like, um, you know, you shouldn't be doing that or whatever it is. Well, uh, if you let them impact on your journey, that's fine. That's that's on you, right? But they don't. I don't care who they are, uh, uh, children, uh, parents, grandparents, whatever. It, it don't matter. It's your it's your forging. They can't. They they don't have they, they don't have the, the 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 hammer and the anvil banging on you to make you who you are. And you've been making you you've been making you who you are. Bef you've been making you who you are. That's the whole the whole thing. You know. But I have to have some some uh, uh, some uh, advice, right? That's I gotta get advice. I mean, that's that's my that's my advice right there. It's like you are who you are, and um, and whoever you are, you just have to continue to dig into what I call the third infinity of yourself, and and become more of who you are. The more you can get to the essence, the more people will leave you alone. Believe you me. My grandmother used to say that. Believe you me. I like that say. So, but 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 a lot of times you forge by certain things. And, and, and it, it, yeah, I was thinking about this, right? Uh, well, since you wrote the thing, I was thinking about this. Like, uh, remember when Dave Chappelle did the thing with Prince, you know, with the pancakes or whatever have you, and he was just like Prince, right? And then Prince went and took that photo and made, and made a, 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 a an EP or, or something like that. Uh, he had a release of that photo of Dave Chappelle. And Dave Chappelle called that was the greatest jujitsu move, move ever. So people are going to say what they say. What you need to do is just do, look, let's, let's, that's Prince was back whenever that, that was, right? Let's right now, remember, remember this week what I said about Kyrie, right? What he should do, right? If they're going to try to make him go to some museum or whatever they think they're going to do and give a half of million dollars to, I don't know what, what they're going to do, right? But he should say, no problem. You know, you could, I go to your museum, you come to my museum, my museum at Gory Island, you know, door no return, right? And at the same time, that half a million dollars, I heard that they rejected it. Good. They, they got prints. I don't know if they got principles. Anyway, but that's good. Now, now that you budgeted that half a million dollars for something, again, I'm just repeating myself. So, so I said earlier this week, take that half a million dollars and buy a bunch of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s books, you know, the compensatory concept from ProduceJustice.com and hand them suckers out <laughs> where you go. <laughs> you know, producers, it's, for, it's about racism, you know, and, and that's, that's your topic, right? Da -da. Hand it out to your team. Hand it out to officials. Hand it out to hey, do, do, like, like turkey giveaways. Hand out you know, to buy a half. You know what, what I'm trying to say is buy a half a million dollars worth of Mr. Neely Jr. Fuller's book. Right, you can get the old the the the, the reissued uh, 
from the 84 reissue thing or you get the the, the 2016 uh, revised thing and of course they get the word guy oh the word guy remember I told you special word guy you send it to Stephen A because he into words whatever have you um but that's one thing. But the, things form you. The thing is, you can't be uh, what I call rutted. That's the whole thing. You can't be rutted because when you when you when you rutted, then you you're in a ditch. You know, you you don't see any way out. You 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 built up. You going into rut so much that you can't see. You can no longer see the sunshine. You know, and you got to hey, shout out to my to to, to my uh, my my blue light brigade. You know, we had a good walk this morning. Hey. Um, um, but I'm going to show you some books um, that I just pulled off my shelf. Um, th oh, this one I just got. This is a, you don't know this. But this one is, um, it's a uh, Connie Benson um, and and a bunch of other people. And this is a, a graphic novel on topic of South Africa. Now, the reason why I show this one, because uh, I went to the, the thing in Nails uh, exhibit in New York. And so... This is really good graphic now. It's really very well done. So I'm bringing it back to South Africa because we're going to do something with it down in Dombasa. I don't know what. We're going to do something. I have no idea what it's going to be. So so, so that's that, that's a, a, a thing, right? Then, oh, let me do this. With, this is last. Um, oh, uh, the African Origins of Civilization, Myth of Realities. Shake on to Diop. Look, this is a good book for you to read, especially if you're black. Well, you are black. I mean, you know, but the point is, this is just just a good book to have and to read. Well, you don't have to read it, but you know, I'll tell you how to read all these books like that. Like that. Oh, here's a book you really should have because we all prisoners, you know, in this day and age. This is a uh, Soledad Brothers Prison Letters of George Jackson. Really good, really, really, really good. You should read again. You don't have to read these things all all the way through. You know, you could just you know. These are letters, so you can stop it. You can say, okay, let me go to page, what's this page? Let me go to page uh, uh, 149. And um, and uh, it's uh, December 21st, 1969, right? And it says, Dear John, uh, Marcia is a sweet, sensitive sister. I want you to see her and re represent me in my absence. You know what that means. Show no weakness of any kind. Present the strong, unapproachable, serious intellect, intelligent, big brother side of your character and the new black man in his highest revolutionary form. You know, look out for her. Try to stabilize her. She is confused. She is a sister of one of my best friends. So bust your heart for her. If she uh, has a personal enemy, smash them. Call her in the evening and read to her from Mao and Fanon or Fanon. Good advice. You know, he's not saying boink. Boink the woman. He says, "Look, look, give us some revolutionary thoughts." You know that's the problem. They got us. They got us not reading Fanon. You know Mao, Nkrumba. They not. We're not reading those right now. You know we're reading. I don't know somebody's lyrics from whatever they they do. Okay, so that's one thing. Okay. Oh, here's something that's always helped me. Well, I don't have the. the I feel like I'm going up to New York. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go buy the books. I'm gonna get it. Now maybe I might get it in December, right before I leave. Uh, but Lloyd Strayhorn's uh, numbers in you, but. Uh, numerology helped me a lot. Just numerology. I don't how to, how to tell you. It just helps me a lot. It's a shortcut to do a lot of stuff and make me understand things. So I'm suggesting numerology as a as a as a way to you know uh, unlock certain things. Let's, let's do that. Now here's the one I wanted to tell you about. Henry Dumas. Henry Dumas. Get yourself a Henry Dumas. This is this is a short short. This is a selected stories. New and selected stories. These are short stories right and this has well I, I adapted two of them to a play that i'm still trying to do i'm gonna get it done oh yes i am why because in the that's how you should know yourself in the american indian thing i'm a woodpecker tenacious this is going i'm gonna keep on pecking until it's done right you know? in fact that's the thing you have to know yourself in all cultures just know yourself in the mind in the mind system of white world bridges you know that because i bring disparate things together you know when we did that print special, what did I do? Man, the whole station was involved. People were getting the stuff, you know. Uh, 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 Lynn Samuels did a cart. Bernard did a cart. I did a cart. You two, you guys did a cart. You know, we had four carts in rotation. It was like amazing. You know what I mean? The, we even had Samori even <laughs> had a commentary against Prince. 
I love that part. I mean, we, well, whole, I don't know, it must have been 20 minutes. I don't know how, how long it was we had. I, I, I clearly remember it on the, on the reel to reel, just going around as as we as we throw there. Because <laughs> that's what we do. We bring desperate things together. That's what, okay, that's what I do. Okay. Um, but that's under the Mayan system, right? Under the un, under the uh, uh, Chinese system, a metal tiger. You know, what I mean, you have to know these things about yourself. Under under Western thing, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a Cancerian with a with a Scorpio rising and a, and a Pisces moon. That messes me up. Oh, no, that gives the humanity thing. But more importantly, I got a Scorpio decant because I'm a water sign. So hey, you know, these things you should know. You should know about yourself you know so in other words if you know yourself so deeply then no matter what people are saying it's, they're saying you should do this do that that it doesn't it doesn't register because they're not on your level they're not they're not in your in your in your third infinity they have no idea what, what's going on you know what i mean and you don't have to explain nothing why because you're an adult the adult the, the, the definition of an adult the ability to say no no matter who it is Children, like I said, family, you can say, no. <laughs> what they going to do? <laughs> oh, you don't love me. Uh, well, that's if you. That's the way you interpret my no, that, that what can I tell you? You know, I'm, okay, no, I'm not going to tell you what to say. But here, I've, I love this. I love Henry Dumas. I love his short stories, especially. There's this one story, whenever I'm feeling some way, especially in these times, right? Like uh, from Arca Bones. Oh, this is a but Archibald was 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 an original thing. This this is a this has a lot of this this comes uh, stuff from Archibald from Genoa and the Green Stone from Roper Wind from Goodbye Sweetwater. These are all I love to tell you. But there's a thing from Archibald. I think Archibald was the yes, it was the first um, it was the first short story collection they did. It's a thing called Fawn F O N like the like the Fawn people of West Africa Fawn right. I'm trying to do Will the Circle Be Unbroken? I, I got an idea for that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that done when I get back to South Africa. But fun. This book, 99. Where's page 99? 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, Story Fawn, spelled F O N, or you can say F O N F O N Fawn, uh, and they, they they've got several Henry, just find Henry Dumas. Go to go on the with a stay away from it. I was trying to say, find Fawn. I don't want to say go go to Black Bookstore. They ain't got it. Then well, okay, well, what can we say you know? Uh, but the, when you read this this thing, it inspires me. It's uh, how many pages? Ninety nine to page uh, one eleven. That's all, short story, you know. And anytime I feel a certain way, especially in these times of day, I just pick up the Henry Dumas story. I read fun. That's it. Okay, so that's it. And as you know, as you probably know, you know, here's the thing about me. A lot of times I say so, and then it's like weeks later, months later, years later, people say, hey, you was right, you know. I don't need to be right. I don't care. because. But, but what you're really saying is this, look, like this. Okay, you're in that way, so I gotta go this way, right? You remember Roadrunner? I tell the people this all the time. You know, Roadrunner he goes, zing! You know, why he goes in, he goes, zing! Right? And you see the, you see his after image there, and he's over there. When people are talking to me, they're talking to my after image. Just know that. People talk to, they are actually talking to my after image. I'm gone. I'm someplace else. You know? It should be the same for you when people are criticizing you or whatever they they're trying to tell you you can't do this you can't do that or grow up whatever they're trying to tell you, you just sing because you're someplace else because eventually they're going to understand right you don't have to make them understand just do what you need to do and everything will be understood. Okay, so that's my advice to one of my radio children. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can talk. I don't like talking over the phone though, man. I'm I don't know how. I'm, hook up with them, but, uh, cause I got, I got them, I'm moving now, man, you know, a couple of weeks I go to New York for a second, then I go up, then I go to go St. Louis and, and Canada and come back down, then I'm off to Africa, so I don't know, find your way, hey, I'm, this is one of my t-shirts that I, well, it's long sleeve tea, I like long sleeve tea, blessed by God for 70 years.
<laughs> See that? For 70 years. I love this t-shirt, but I'm going to leave it here in the States. I'm going to leave a bunch of t-shirts in the United States. I love it so much, you know. Uh, and that's what you should, you should understand. However old you are, you're in your 50s now, but I guess. You're, you've been, if, you, if you've survived this long, especially as a black man in the, North, the wilderness of North America, then you truly are blessed by God. Just know that. <laughs> Just know that. And if you want to be further blessed, dot, 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 dot. See? Okay. Just thought I'd let you know. You know, I got to take care of my peoples, you know. So maybe we all can get together sometime, you know, the old crew. But we'll see what happens. Check you later. Okay. So, so my, my, oh, my, is the thing is, it's interesting because with me, I don't know something about me. Like, um, people don't want to deal with me. I, I, you know, one time I do this workshop <laughs> and I always had one of my students from my class, or two of my students from my class, because we brought the kids from the township up for like a week workshop at, at, at UCT, right? And I always had a couple of my kids. And so one kid was complaining to one of, one of, the, one of the guys, uh, well, I always have, have a male and a female, was complaining to the guy, well, you know, brother Sloan this and brother Sloan that. And he says, no, just, just, he said, don't worry, just, just hang in there. You'll, you'll, you'll understand, you know, that's what it is. If you don't hang long enough, you'll never understand. Okay, share. Okay. Um, the brother's after image. The brother's after image? Hmm. After image. I'm just going to put after image. Yeah. A F T E O. I am after image. Just it, just after image. Should I capitalize the I? Yeah, I capitalize the I like that. So we'll do it like that. After image. Okay. Tag people. I gotta tag this guy here. That would be what's this? Oh man. Oh, there he is. Okay. Just so he knows. Like that. So that's done. Uh, Western Branch uh, series. I'm going to call this. Oh, man. What should I call this? Uh, randoms in the morning. ADOS. I'll do randoms. Random randoms. Done. Okay. Share. Yeah. Okay. Off and running. That's good. You know what I didn't do this morning? I got, you know, I got my, I got the coconut thing that I swished my mouth with, right? And um, I ran out. And when I can't, it's a little complicated thing. But when I ran out, when I locked the door, I can't get back in. So I said, oh, I forgot. But now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this now. Now check this out, right? What I've done, this is, now this is not the organic coconut or whatever, it's just coconut, right? Coconut, whatever, right? And I mixed it with turmeric and I'm waiting to get some neem, right? Because this is what I'm gonna switch this with. I'm gonna switch this coconut and turmeric in my mouth. That's a way to do it. And uh, and when I get neem, neem, I'll add it to the, to the mixture. And that's what'll happen, okay? So there we go, let's go. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-